Hey everyone, this is Brian. I'm going to show you how to manage your YouTube channel now if you started uploading videos there. I'm on youtube.com. When you go there, you will just see your home screen. In the top right, you have a profile picture. I'm going to go to your channel, which is my channel. And there are a couple things you can do here. First, remember, if you are in Elkhart, you need to approve videos or channels. So for this one, I am going to approve the entire channel because that way every video I upload is automatically approved. Now you don't see any videos here because the ones we uploaded were unlisted. They're not gonna be viewable on the public page. So to do that, we would need to go to the studio. So first I'm going to approve these videos. Now the channel is approved for all students in the district and you don't have to set each one independently. If there is one you want to remove, you can do that video by video. To manage your videos, go to YouTube Studio. The studio is where you manage all of your material. There is a dashboard here with some analytics, but we're going to jump right to the Videos tab. On the videos, you can see the two we uploaded. This is from my iPad. This is from the computer. Both of these are unlisted, meaning that no one will see them unless I send the link directly. If you need to change the approval for that video for whatever reason, you can click on the play button, the YouTube icon, and it will open the video in a new tab. You can see down below, it says in blue that this is in a channel approved for Elkhart. I can remove that approval and that means that students will not be able to watch it. So if you need to remove a single video, you can do it that way. Some other controls you have, if you click on the edit button, the details for this video, you can do things like turn comments on and off. You can change your viewing. You can add it to a playlist if you want to. You can set your age restriction. Remember for elementary, typically those are made for kids. Otherwise it's general audience and it's no, it is not made for kids. This does not mean that elementary or younger will not be able to see it. It just means that uh, it will be included in the general video results. If you want to disable comments, you can go to more options and down below you can change this to hold comments for review or disable entirely. So that's a real quick look at how to manage your material on YouTube if you're using that. If you have other questions, you can feel free to submit requests or send an email to one of us um, or leave a comment on this video and we'd be happy to reply here. Thanks for watching.